animation is the main thing in Maya we can make a movie a video file we can make a cartoon movie or any other animated object a moving things in Maya there are two types of object levels one is the object level and other is the component level the component level means sub object level we are seeing in a workspace that the green lines are representing the object level and when we right click in a marking menu and we choose CVs so now we are in the component mode and we can key our components and if we are in the and if we select this directly our object so we are in the directly in object mode and now we can key the object it's good news for us that we can not only key the object level but also we can key the component level the term key is for the adding time into the objects of three dimensions time is the fourth dimension when we include the time in three dimensions so our object will be animated at the time as we know that our this object has three dimensions x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate and when we add the time into these three dimensions and time is the fourth dimension so we see that our object is moving for making an animation with Maya we have two sliders the time slider and the range slider these two sliders are very much necessary for keyframing there are several ways to animate an object we can animate our object by keyframing directly we can animate our object by expressions and we can animate our object by dynamics menu if we are sitting in the dynamics menu then we can animate our objects or the particle and components of our objects from the dynamics and if we are keyframing our objects so we'll keyframe one by one or by key settings our object in our workspace suppose we want to translate our object from this end to that how we'll animate this ball from this end to that if we have our key if we have our slider on keyframe 1 if we have our slider on 24 or if we have on 1 in time slider then we can keyframe our time slider on our objects attributes at this point our object this in this case our object attributes are translate rotate and scale and visibility all of these attributes are going to be keyframed on key 1 in time slider suppose we set a key at the frame 1 on our objects attributes so we'll choose the animate when we are in the animation menu set you can see the menu set from here and when we are in the animation menu set we can choose the animate and set key and in this way we can set the key on keyframe 1 we can set the key or we can press the S on keyboard so we set the key and now we see the orange color in our channel box for our all attributes it, mean, it means that our object is now keyed it now captured is now occupied by keys it is connected and it is specified that our object is in workspace at this end on keyframe 1 and if we are at key uh, if we are at frame 24 our object should be at any other place suppose we place our object here and now again key our object and we can play our animation we have ma made an, an animation for our this objects translation attributes and we are seeing that all the attributes are keyed why because we have keyed from the time slider if we don't want to keep from the time slider and we key from the channel box directly by right clicking and highlighting the attribute at that time when we key our attribute so at that time we key only the single attribute just like translate X suppose we are at frame 2012 so 
suppose we are at frame 12 and we key only the scale x y and z we drag from x to z and we highlight all of the scale attributes and then right click on these highlighted attributes and key key selected now our x y z is keyed on 2.5 4 and 7 if we change the attributes on frame 20 so we can give the value in this text box suppose we give the value of 1 when we give the value of 1 and then we highlight all three attributes of scale and then we right click and key select it again so now we can see that our attribute is going to be reduced by s because our attributes is now keyed and our attribute scale x and y and z are now under the keys we can also key our rotations or our visibility suppose we are at frame 6 and we change the rotation of our attribute rotate y we choose the rotation and we highlight we give the value 90 or the rotation of x in 90 we see that rotation are going to be changed our objects rotation and we can key selected if we are at the frame 80 we can change the rotation again